Today we want to consider multiple questions on nuclear stability. Question one says, what is a stable nucleus? A stable nucleus is one which does not decay spontaneously, emitting any form of radiation. A stable nucleus is one which does not decay spontaneously, emitting any kind of radiation. Question two. That the principal factor that determines the relative stability of a radioactive nucleus. Whenever we are considering the stability of a radioactive nucleus, we usually talk about the neutron proton ratio. Let us read through the options we have here A, neutron neutron ratio. B, neutron proton ratio. C, neutron, neutron, or neutron positron ratio. And D, proton electron ratio. So the correct answer to that question or option to that question is option B the neutron proton ratio. Question three. Arrange the following radionuclides in decreasing order of stability. Arrange the following radionuclides in decreasing order of stability. When we, con when we are considering stability, as we have said already, we consider the neutron proton ratio. So we are going to calculate or estimate the neutron proton ratio for these elements A, B, C. And then if it is equal to one, then that element is stable. If it is greater than one, it tends to be unstable. So those ones that are closer to one are more stable than the ones that are farther away. So from our calculation, though as I am still going to explain it, we have the neutron proton ratio for A to be equal to one. So A is more stable because the number of neutron is equal to the number of proton and followed by C with 1.26 and B 1.25. How did I calculate this? All you need to do, remember that A, the mass number is equal to the proton number plus the neutron number. Okay, so in this element, we have the mass number to be 40 and the proton number Z to be 20. So it is left for us to estimate the neutron number. So from here, the neutron number would be N equal to A minus Z. Okay. So that's the expression we are going to use to find the neutron number. What's our A for element A? Oh, sorry, yes. What's our mass number A for element A? 40. You now say 40 minus the proton number Z, which is 20, so that will give us 20 as our neutron number. So we now use this 20 and divide by the proton number, which is 20 here. So this will be 20 divided by 20 gives us one. It tells us about the stability of that element. We are also going to use the same method to find the neutron number for, for this element here, C. 
So the mass number is 95. And the proton number is 42. When you subtract the mass number and the proton number, it gives you 53, which is the neutron number to element C. So you now divide the 53 by the proton number, which is 42. So 53 divided by 42 gives us 1.26, which is closer to one. And we also do the same thing here. Here we have 50, oh, sorry, mass number 92, mass number 92, proton number, 36, it gives you 56, okay? So that's the neutron number. You now divide the neutron number by the proton number. So we get 1.56. So you now see that the stability is gotten by the neutron-proton ratio. and Element A is one. So the first alphabet, the A is most stable, then followed by C, and then B. You now see the value we have for B is bigger than the value we have for C and A. So that's how to estimate the stability. The question says, arrange the fuller radionuclides in decreasing order of stability. So since we are arranging it in decreasing order of stability, that would be ACB, element ACB. That's why we are arranging it this way. Assuming the question said, arrange the fuller radionuclides in order of increasing increasing stability we would have start from maybe we would start from b the unstable to the stable so that would be b c a look at the equation arrange the fuller radionuclides in decreasing order of stability meaning start from the one that is most stable to the one that is unstable what if it was asked this way. Arrange the following radiant lights in increasing order of stability. That would mean start from the unstable and end with the stable one. So those are sensitive things we have to consider. And I also said that the neutron-proton ratio is what gives or tells us about the stability of an element. Now, in this case, if the neutron is equal to the proton, then that element is considered to be very stable. So that question says, a plot of neutron versus proton to display isotope is a plot of neutron versus proton to display isotopes is called the correct option is the Segre chart. The Segre chart, this is how it looks like. So the red line here shows the line of stability. So you see elements that are stable are placed where you have the red lines. And then this is a plot of neutrons against proton. So this chart here is what is meant by the Segre chart. 
This is the plot of neutron versus proton. You can see here, the neutrons are on the vertical axis and the protons are on the horizontal axis.